So here's a little bit of a pet hate of mine, and that's um, people that just type in capitals. There obviously is a place for that, but uh, I also honestly see that as something being lazy. So especially data in Excel, when I get a lot of columns with data in it, that's uh, just in capitals. So um, there's quite an easy way to fix this, and I'd love to show you how. It works the same in PowerPoint and Word. And in Excel, of course, there's formulas that you can fix it with. But uh, if I look at this text here, and, uh, and for example, this uh, section here, I don't want it to be capitals. I'm actually cleaning up the text a bit for a report or something. Under the Home tab, you'll see next to the um, larger and smaller font, you'll see that there's a little uh, a small A and a big A, and that's to change the case of, uh, of your sentences or your words, etc. So if I click on that drop down, I have the ability to choose sentence case, sentence case, which uh, obviously the first letter would then be capital. I've got lowercase, uppercase, capitalize each word or toggle case. So um, let's go for sentence case. Now there you'll see it looks so much better. But um, also, of course, is uh, you can change this back and change it to capitals where you need it to be capital. So I can change that to uppercase or into um, into lowercase. Of course, um, to be able to do this in Excel is really, really easy as well. So if I just bring this document of mine across, if I wanted to make uh, that capitals, I would just go equal um, upper bracket, select it, close the bracket. And, um, and then I'd normally just copy and paste the text back. So upper would be um, for uh, uppercase, lower, of course, and then proper. I could have just remember, but uh, let's just check. It's with one P, just checking Afrikaans coming through strong there. So equal proper case would be similar to sentence case. So that's how um, I would do it in Excel, but in Word and in PowerPoint, it's rather easy because you can just toggle the case by using um, the function in your ribbon. So um, that should definitely save you a lot of time because I used to retype a lot of this um, out of frustration, but you definitely don't have to. You can just select the text Go there and go, nope, I want that to be sent in case. Quite a cool thing. And uh, again, my mission is to save time and be more productive. And I'm sure that's going to do the job.